So Carmen recently released a hot seat video with Prime. Now this was a real hot seat because he was asking her some juicy questions. And in so many words, it appears that Carmen may be dealing with Michi. Now Michi and Prime are friends, so you would kind of have to read in between the lines on some of the questions that he was asking. We already knew that Carmen was dealing with Michi, but we didn't know for sure. So this hot seat pretty much confirmed it. Now Michi is posting a show on his YouTube channel called Finding Love and Carmen will be featured in these episodes. So I'm guessing we'll get more tea then as well. Now Corey is pretty much in his feelings about all of this. He posted that he was heartbroken. This is his first Thanksgiving alone. Now anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next topic with Queen Nyjah and Clarence. Now you guys know Clarence has been exposed for allegedly cheating multiple times. Well, Queen did an interview with a radio show and she answered the question how she handles Clarence allegedly cheating. Pretty sure there was times where you would like people to be quiet. Like we've seen the most recent thing between, you know, the father of your children mm -hmm. and one guy saying, oh, you know, he's cheating on her. And, yeah. and you're like, you guys are defending your relationship. Like, yeah. I'm sure those things after a while. Like, how do you yeah. respond to that? Um, how do I respond to it? I don't. Mm. <laughs> I don't respond to it. I don't respond to it because I know what's going on at home. That's that's all it really matters i know what's going on and mm -hmm. if i gotta check somebody about something at home then that's what i'm gonna do if I, you know what i'm saying like that that's really like For that's sure. between but but the, you know you gotta know the media is gonna think what the media is gonna think you just gotta i don't feel like explaining anything anymore right you know what i'm saying if they're gonna talk and let them unless talk. it's like something super like if it if it like if it's something super federal where I'm gonna do some jail time for yeah yeah but other than that like just let people talk you know yeah yeah for sure that's I'm good what's regardless up. I'm 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 at the end of day when I cut off social media I have my real life to deal with the home. queen was also upset after someone asked her the question will you all ever go to your mom's for Thanksgiving or just Clarence family. Queen responds with, this is my first time being with Clarence's mom for Thanksgiving. I'll go be with my mom for Christmas stuff. Gotta split it up when everyone's in a different state. I also just went to Detroit a couple weeks ago. I'm sure y'all seen that. She also says, it's not that I'm bothered, LOL, but I just be wanting to respond to some things because I like putting people in their place. But if y'all want to call it bother, then hey, I'm human. I genuinely feel like y'all should stop asking me like very personal questions like that because I feel like if I was just a regular person, if I was a regular person, y'all didn't know me, y'all want to ask me like intrusive questions like that about like, oh, why aren't you with your family for Thanksgiving? Like, I feel like a lot of y'all need to really, I love you guys, but y'all got to chill with the very like, personal questions i feel like that's personal like it's none of your concern who i go with on which holiday as queen stated her and the family are in new york celebrating thanksgiving holiday with clarence's family i'm literally in this store y'all trying to find some new uh ingredients for my mac and cheese because i'm gonna do it i'm gonna sneak and do it y'all this is the most spanish store i've ever seen like everything Everything in here is super Spanish. They got gandules. <laughs> like everything is like super. Let's see what we could do, y'all. It's round two of the mac and cheese, y'all. Number one, the, what I am doing different is shredding my cheese. Like I'm shredding blocks of cheese rather than, you know, just get in the bag of shredded cheese. So I got Kobe Jack. I found it. That's one able to have in the last batch. Kobe Jack is very good cheese. And then I'm doing sharp cheddar and Monterey Jack. Is it Monterey Jack or Mon Monterey Jack or Monterey? It's Monterey Jack. So we're doing Monterey Jack cheese. And those are the cheeses that will go into my butter flour roux with the half and half. So yeah. Step num number 
Y'all, the devil was really trying to mess with me on my mac and cheese, but what he didn't know was that I had another little half a box to boil. So I ended up doing that, and this is how it looks before I put the cheese on top. I put the egg in there, so I got all of my cheese and stuff and seasoning in here. I'm going to put a little bit more Cajun seasoning on here. They didn't have Slappy Mama, and I'm going to mix it in more and then put the cheese on top. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. It got those little chunks in there that I love. Oh, I'm so happy. There we go, y'all. We good now. Okay, y'all. So, after making my new mac and cheese, I looked at the old one and threw it right in the trash. I just threw it right in the trash. Like, when I say the old one and the new one look so different from each other, the one from last night that I made, I really thought I was doing something. Like, when, I, when it first came out the oven, was all hot but it was like super just white and pale and this one that i made today had color to it just looked like it was brought to life and i'm so i'm so happy with that i did that styling everybody was telling me to not remake it but i did what my gut felt and now i'm happy with what i did you know what i'm saying like period new mac who this so i'm a black girl I don't care what nobody say. I grew up with my black mom. I didn't grow up with my Arab daddy, okay? So I'm not gonna walk around and call myself, oh, I'm just multiracial. When I fill out paperwork, it's either African-American, black, or Hispanic, or something else. They don't have Arab, they don't have multiracial, they don't have that. Um, I'm just not gonna walk around calling myself multiracial or mixed. I'm just not. Because if I say mixed, people will think that I'm black and white, and I'm not. If you really want to be cool, where my dad is from, Yemen, go look at all, all of Yemeni's people's skin, skin tones and tell me what do you see. Do you see black or white? So, yeah, I'm going to keep, and, and no, uh, you're not violating because a lot of people ask these questions, but um, I'm a black girl. <laughs> Sorry, sorry if y'all don't agree.